back to my channel my name's amy if you're new here and today we have a really exciting thrift haul so i popped into the charity shops with my friends katie and holly katie was back from france and she was like amy we need to go thrifting and i was like uh yes so i took them to basildon which neither of them had been to the basildon charity shops before and as you guys know they are some of my favorite charity shops to go to so i took them there and katie definitely did get some good finds also before i start I have got some flowers and some lights my backdrop, which if you've been around here for a while, you'll know that this is actually my beauty studio where I work. Um, so yeah, I popped some lights on here and some flowers. I think it looks super cute. And I also finally finished the gallery wall that I was going on about in like basically every video. So at the end, I'll insert um, a picture or a clip of the gallery wall because I know I've been going on about that for ages. So I thought I would show you guys in this video as I've finally done it. That's all the notices and other admin out the way. So let's get into the thrift haul. So the first thing I picked up was from British Heart Foundation and this was 10 pounds. Now it says it's in a size 20 and the only other thing is it definitely had a hood at some point because there is a zip where the hood would attach, but it's no longer on there. But this feels like a really nice kind of waterproof coat and it's like a Burberry kind of pattern. Obviously it's not Burberry, um, but I just thought this is super cute and a nice kind of chuck on jacket if I'm wearing kind of an all black outfit and I'm just running to the post office. This is also a good one because it's not super thick, but it does feel waterproof. So a good one if it's kind of warm up, but still rainy. Um, and yeah, there's not too much to say about this. It's kind of buttoned up and I just thought this is super cute and I really like this. So I picked this up for 10 pounds from the British Heart Foundation. It is the coat. I actually think trying this on, this is reversible because buttons on the inside as well as the outside. And also they've got this pocket detail that I think can work, yeah, either way. This is actually a reversible jacket, which is actually super fun. If you wanted something a little bit more um, kind of understated, you could turn it inside out or kind of black side out. Um, but yes, I think it's super cute. And also I feel like this material here is probably less waterproof than this inside material. So potentially if it's raining, you might want to swap around the um, kind of way round, way round to wearing a jacket, if that makes sense. But yeah, anyway, it's a super cute jacket. Not really too much to say about it. A good throw on to have. I like having these sort of jackets that are a little bit lightweight because I get so hot. So yeah, really happy with this. And for £10, I actually it's really good for a jacket. So yeah, really happy with this one. The next thing I picked up was from Haven's Hospice, which if you guys know, that's my favourite charity shop. It's everything £2, it all the one in Basildon is. This is originally from Pretty Little Thing. It's in a size 16 and it's just this gorgeous shirt dress. Now I don't quite know how well I can kind of show you this off but it's this gorgeous red color and it's kind of got this kind of stitching paneling i don't really know what you'd call it but it kind of cinches in at the waist and then goes out um at the bottom so it just has this gorgeous flattering shape now i have tried all this stuff on and i know with this it does fit really lovely um just as it is but if it was nipped in slightly more at the waist that would be perfect so i think i'm going to try the whole um safety pin and shoelace trick that i've seen on tiktok um but anyway i thought this is gorgeous and for two pounds i love this it does give me kind of uh captain jack sparrow vibes though like a tad piratey but i do love it here is the red pirate vibe dress. I actually think this is so, so, so cute. But I want you guys to opinion on this. Do you think it looks cute and fine like this? I actually think it does. But I think it just nipped in a little bit more at the waist. Like it just adds kind of a little bit extra something, something. I don't know. I think this is really cute. And I think I'd wear it either way. I think obviously it's nice to actually have a little bit extra just in case something a little bit bloated. But it's really strange. It looks like it fits fine at the kind of the front. And in the back actually looks quite baggy. So I feel like I don't know. It's super cute. And it's actually a really decent length as well, which is something you guys know I don't like. But yeah, I really love this. But I think I just need to play around with maybe potentially nipping in the waist a little bit but i do actually love it just like this um yeah i'm really happy with this and for two pounds i know this would be a lot more on pretty little thing and actually still has a bit of the pretty little thing tag in it so i don't think this has probably been worn that many times at all and yeah i really love this one a lot and definitely think this is something if i saw it on the website i would probably gravitate towards anyway so yeah really happy with this one the next thing I picked up, again from Haven's Hospice, this is originally um, from Dorothy Perkins, it's in a size 16, and it was two pounds, was this gorgeous kind of emerald green shirt with these kind of silvery, goldy buttons down the center. Um, I got this because I thought it looked very festive. Um, I do think I probably wear this more open on top of just jeans and a vest top. Um, I quite like to wear my shirts that way, just kind of as a shacket, but obviously this is super light. It's nice if you want a little bit of pop of colour on your outfit, and I just thought this was super cute, so I picked this up for £2 from Haven's Hospice. Here is the green shirt. Now, as I say, there's not really too much to say about this. It's just a green shirt. This is probably how I'd style it, although I do think kind of tied up at the front that looks quite cute as well just kind of give you a little bit more shape but i do think it's a great just tough around the house i find 
sometimes if I'm super busy, if I've got a full blouse done up, I get really hot. Whereas just chucking it over kind of a vest top, I think it's a nice way to add a bit of color, add something else kind of a bit different, but also like, yeah, feel a little bit warm, but not like super hot. So yeah, super happy with this for two pounds. I feel very festive in it. I think it's the color green. I really like green at Christmas. I feel like it's very underrated and yeah, really happy with this. You're going to get tired of me of saying it, but I believe this was from Haven's Hospice as well. This was two pounds from Haven's Hospice and it is just this, um, little jumper it's in a size 16 and it's just this cream kind of knit jumper this is quite a thin knit which is probably good for me because i do get quite hot um only thing is it's a tiny bit see-through which i found all of my cream jumpers i've got recently have been see-through so i'm not quite sure if i'm definitely going to keep this or not it is a good basic and i think it'll be nice to kind of pair it with just some jeans um, and also it'll be nice to kind of layer over when we're going to disney and i know it's gonna be freezing so i'm gonna need kind of tighter fitted jumpers to go underneath jumpers like this for disney but yes this jumper two pounds before it can go wrong and i'm still in the hunt for a perfect cream jumper but this is definitely getting closer so i picked up this for two pounds the knitted jumper so there's really not too much to say about this it's just a knitted jumper um but i think it's really cute i think it's quite flattering and yeah just tucks in some jeans into a skirt i think it's just a nice kind of versatile piece so yeah for two pounds definitely a good one and a good basic to have the next thing i picked up was this skirt now this was originally from h&m i got it from cancer research for three pounds and it it's in a size 14, which is probably why it's the tiniest bit snug. Now I can get this on absolutely fine. Um, it's just a little bit of a squidge, um, but once it's on, it actually does feel fine. So it's just this cream faux leather skirt. Now I do like midi skirts like this, and they are also quite stretchy and quite comfortable. The innards of this is kind of fleece lined as well, which is lovely. So it keep you nice and warm. Now I love kind of, I had a leather brown midi skirt and I used to love it to pair with kind of jumpers when it gets kind of a bit chillier. And I think it looks really, really classy. It is the cream midi skirt. The only thing I think about this dress is I think where it's this skirt, sorry, is where it's quite tight. The pockets kind of stick out a little bit. I'm not quite sure if it's flattering or not. Um, but yes, I do really like it. I just think this one I'm gonna have to think over a little bit. I think where it's the tiniest bit snug, I am therefore a bit more like, oh, I don't know. But then I have tested it and I can sit down finding it. And actually, once it's on, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. But yeah, this is a skirt. I feel like paired with the right outfit, maybe a cute jumper instead. I thought this would be really cute. I think it's just throwing me off having something tight on top and then tie at the bottom as well i think i need to balance this out a little bit but i do think it is really cute i think it's just one i'm going to have to ponder with because it's not the like, the best fit in the world but yeah i'm not quite sure but i think i like it <laughs> so i picked up this one and i already had on depop order which i'll show you because it came afterwards a black leather midi skirt which i'll show you the two things i got from depop now so one of which is this gorgeous black um leather skirt this is originally from misguided this is a size 16 and i got this for 10 pounds on um depop now it's just this midi skirt with kind of a front slit now this could be a little bit tight up it does fit okay um and yeah i thought this was super cute and i got this to pair with so i got that to pair with this so i'll show you this all together as an outfit on the try on clip this is from misguided it's in a size 16 and it's just this black lace bodysuit again this is from depop i believe this is eight pounds um just make sure when you're shopping on depop check the people's um reviews to check they're okay to shop with if people have got lots of five star reviews and people are commenting that they're on their reviews that they're fine then they're fine to shop with that's what i always think anyway but i got this to wear with that black skirt i think it'll be a really cute kind of sexy but classy outfit i think you can even do a red um heel to a bit of pop of color maybe a red lip and i think that looks sassy boss girl vibes and i'm really loving that so i'll show you that all together but i thought that outfit from depop was great and i ordered that because my friends um invited me to a meal and i was like i want a really nice classy outfit like that and i'd actually seen an advert on facebook for simply be and it was a black leather skirt like that and um as you know i don't really shop new clothes but i saw that i thought i really like that let's see if i can find one second hand so i found that one straight away so i was really happy with that so here is the bodysuit and the skirt i wonder if you guys can tell kind of if it looks a little bit baggy i don't really know i feel like when i look back on the footage i'm going to look at this and see if i think it does anyway i think it's looks super cute together though i think it just makes me look very tall there's something around kind of a mid axi length skirt that i think really elongates your figure and i feel very very tall in this i also feel very slim which i like and yeah i just love this one a lot i like the combination i like kind of a bodysuit um i kind of think a bit lacy but with kind of a longer skirt i think that's really flattering i think it's really classy and yeah i love this i like how i can play around with the color i wear with this even though i do just go black with everything and just a red lip i think i'll look really fun and yeah really love this one a lot and i can't wait to wear this one out the next thing I picked up was again from Haven's Hospice for two pounds. It was originally from BHS, I believe. Let me find it. 
yeah originally from bhs now this is a size 14 and i picked it up thinking this is not going to fit me but i was like it's so gorgeous that i will buy it for fabric anyway and if it doesn't fit me i'll make it into something else but it's just this gorgeous kind of lemony cream night dress and i don't know how well the camera will be picking this up it's just got this gorgeous kind of leaf print the whole way down now i love this i want to try and wear this out as like a normal dress i know people do this with slip dresses and it looks gorgeous so i'm thinking with something layered underneath maybe some chunky black boots it's gonna be a really really cute look i'm excited to style it maybe a leather jacket over the top and i just think this is so gorgeous and just the pattern the color everything about this i just loved and when i saw it and saw it as a 14 i was like oh i don't think it'll fit it actually fits like a glove so i love this one a lot night dress i love this so much and i really wish i had the confidence to pull this off going out I feel like I maybe do. I don't know. I think it's so pretty and I really like it. I think I probably would feel a little bit more confident with it layered, maybe um, like a blazer or something over the top. But I do think this is gorgeous. And I know people are wearing these out and I just want to be that sort of person. And I hope I have the confidence too. But yeah, you have to see on my Instagram. If I post a picture in it, then I probably have worn it out. But yeah, I think it's really cute. I always think with the belt, it could look nice. And yeah, I'm really happy with this. And for two pounds, I love it. <laughs> and then finally, potentially my favourite thing of the haul, which is nice to end it on. I got this blazer dress for two pounds from Haven's Hospice. It's in a size 16 and it's originally from Marks and Spencer. So I was looking in the coat section and I saw this and thought a black long blazer that's really cute. Anyway when I held it up um, and it was already buttoned up actually so I could kind of see I thought this is a perfect length to be a blazer dress. I find a lot if I wanted to thrift a blazer dress, I probably would have thrifted it quite a big blazer and just then I'd have the length, but then it'd be too boxy. Um, whereas this is kind of, I think, meant to be kind of a long line blazer, like a women's long line blazer. And it just means it's actually quite fitted. Now, obviously how it is in um, the bottom is open. So I'll have to either sew that up or put some poppers in or put an extra button in at the bottom. But this is gorgeous and I love this. And for two pounds, this literally is, like I said in the last one, actually I've had quite a lot of successful thrift hauls recently. Like I have found so many absolute gems recently and this is definitely one of them i think with that actually that black lace bodysuit that i brought underneath this just then where it's a little bit low in the front you can have a little bit of like a black lace bodysuit showing i think that looks super cute again you could play with color with this maybe do a red lip a red heel or keep it all black i think with a slight sleek back bun this will just look gorgeous i'm so excited to wear this i've got quite a few things coming up so this could potentially be one of the things i wear for that but i love this so much and i can't wait for you guys to see it on so here is the blaze dress. Obviously, as you can see, it is not sewn up yet. I need to pop some poppers or, I don't know, some buttons. I don't really know what I'm doing yet, even if I stitch it up a little bit. But I hope you guys can kind of see the vision that this looks gorgeous. I think this fits like absolutely amazing. These sleeves have been taken up, I think, which is perfect for me because now they are the perfect length. And oh my gosh, everything about this is perfect. I love it so much. I also like how I could, I think I am probably trying to do put poppers in the bottom so I could wear it kind of as a longer line blazer if I wanted to. So yeah, really love this, a very versatile piece. And for two pounds, this is the best fitting blazer dress I've ever put on in my life. And I think with kind of the lacy bodysuit underneath, just so when that little tiny bit shows, it's absolutely fine. She got a nice bodysuit underneath. I think it's super cute. I really love this one and I literally can't wait to wear it. Also, before the end, this is the gallery wall that I've done. Let me step back so you can kind of see it. So these two pictures, my friend Holly drew for me. I've got my price list up there and then a mirror. So I'm going to try and remember the prices of these. So I believe the mirror in the centre was two pounds um, from St. Luke's Hospice. And the frames worked out, I think three pounds for all three and they were from Oxfam and I just think this looks gorgeous I think a gallery wall with all gold frames that you can thrift obviously they if you as you can see the patterns are nowhere near kind of the same but I think all in the same color tone this just looks absolutely gorgeous and I love how when you kind of come to take a picture in this mirror that you've got the kind of greenery wall that I've got behind it and oh my gosh, I just think this looks so cute. And yeah, thrifted home decor is definitely one of my faves. So that's everything I picked up today from the charity shops and also from Depop. I really hope you enjoyed this haul. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment what your favorite item was down below. Subscribe if you're not already and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.